Well, hi there. When we do live streams, sometimes we do something called a lightning round where we go through questions and answers as fast as we possibly can. And it's always super fun. Well, welcome to what we are calling 25 lightning reptile reviews. I'm giving myself 10 seconds per animal to give you a feel for what these animals are like. If you want full videos on any of these, like if you find one you're like, I'd like to know more about that, we do have full videos about each and every one of these and those videos, the links to them, will be down in the description. So just go down there, check out the full video, get a lot more information, because this is only gonna be 10 seconds. So buckle up, here's 25 10 second lightning reviews. All right, first on our list is the crested gecko. Crested geckos are small arboreal lizards that don't need heat, are easy to handle, but can drop their tails and won't grow them back. They eat powder and need frequent mistings. Next are ball pythons. Ball pythons are an impressively big, yet not too big snake that eats rats and mice, except for when it doesn't, and is easy to handle and might have trouble shedding if you don't get humidity just right. Next are bearded dragons. Bearded dragons are a lizard that is somewhat expensive to house and feed, needs expensive lighting, and is super worth it because they will hang out with you, can't drop their tails, and are just so much fun. Next on our list are leopard geckos. Leopard geckos are possibly the easiest of all lizards, as long as you don't mind feeding them insects. They're small but handleable with big fat tails that they are reluctant to drop. Next on our list are corn snakes, which are the top scoring reptiles we have ever covered. Popular for a reason, easy to keep, assuming you're okay feeding rodents and that you don't let them escape. Gargoyle geckos. Gargoyle geckos are basically the same as crested geckos, except not a crested gecko. They will grow back their tail and are harder to breathe than crested geckos. Did I mention that they're not crested geckos? Next is the blue tongue skink. The blue tongue skink is probably the best bigger lizard for most people. They're a bit pricey to buy, but easy to care for and feed. That and the stuff that they eat comes from the grocery store and they are really great for interaction. The Gigi skink is like a super expensive high temperature mini blue tongue for people that don't have the space for a blue tongue or that really, really like pine cones. Garter snakes are an active, beautiful, interesting snake that eats more than just rodents. They can be somewhat stinky when they musk you if they're frightened, but they're just underrated. The Argentine tegu is the ultimate pet lizard. It's easy for a huge lizard, but huge lizards aren't easy. Most of their food comes from the grocery store, but they need a huge custom enclosure. The Western hognose snake might be my favorite species. They have a reasonable size, they're easy to feed and handle, can be a bit hissy, and are technically venomous. Females are much larger than males, but still pretty small. The Lichianus gecko is a magnificent sock puppet that is basically a giant crested gecko to care for. Some are grumpy, but many are not, and they're awesome. The Kenyan sand boa is a goofy looking snake that will be buried most of the time, but they are beautiful, easy to care for, and reasonably sized. Again, females are much larger than males, but still pretty small. The Aki monitor is the most reasonable pet monitor lizard. Most of the joy of keeping monitors, but without the issues associated with size. They eat a lot of insects and need a big enclosure, but not crazy big since they're such a little guy. They also need some pretty expensive lighting. The Savannah Monitor is a lizard that is not easy or inexpensive to keep, as their price would suggest. They should eat a ton of insects and other feeders and have high temperatures and a huge amount of space. The 
The Sulcata tortoise is a giant that will live longer than you do and is so powerful that it will be difficult to contain. They're easy to feed and wonderful, but a serious commitment. The common boa, often known as the Colombian boa, may be the perfect pet snake. They're big, but not dangerously big or difficult to feed big. But it will need a big enclosure and it will eat rodents. The green iguana is not a good pet lizard for most people. They're huge and full of weapons. Males are especially unpredictable. But if you can spend several hours a day with it and a lot of money, they can be okay. The jeweled lacerta is like a tiny glorious tegu, active, intelligent, but we, you will need to build a relationship with them. They're cheap to keep compared to a tegu, but still need a large enclosure, lots of insects, and expensive lighting. And get the humidity right. The caiman lizard is a tegu crocodile hybrid that a wizard would make. Easy to feed if you can get them some snails. They have a great personality, but the giant water and land enclosure is not easy, and it's expensive. The milk snake is a great reasonably sized snake that is easy to feed. They also might try to eat you from time to time. Don't take it personally, they might try to eat themselves as well. The Mexican black king snake is like a milk snake, but more expensive and black. The panther chameleon, is there a more beautiful reptile? Chameleons are grumpy and difficult. This one is less grumpy and a bit easier than most chameleons. Still not a good choice for inexperienced keepers. Stink pot mud and musk turtles. If you want a reasonable water turtle, this is a very reasonable water turtle. Small, cool looking and fun, but water turtles are a pain because of the whole water thing. The frilled dragon is a somewhat shy, moderately sized lizard. They eat a lot of insects, need a reasonably large enclosure, and expensive lighting. Everyone you know, though, will think it's a very cool lizard. Whew. All right, that was 25 10 second reviews. Please do not pick a pet based on 10 seconds of research. But if any of those seem like it might be the right choice for you, do watch the full videos about them. Again, we have all those down in the description. Not every pet reptile is a good choice for every person, so do your homework. Because while the wrong choice is bad for you and for the reptile, making the right choice can be one of the best decisions you'll ever make. We'd also like to thank our patrons at Patreon who've helped this channel to come a long way. You might have noticed a lot of these were actually the first videos that we ever made and we never dreamed we would have come this far or kept going. And Patreon is a huge part of the reason why we have made it this far and why we plan to keep going for a long time in the future. If you thought this was fun and would like to see more of these, please let us know down in the comments. As always, like and subscribe. We hope to see you real soon. Well, hi there. One moment. All lizards, as you don't... Okay, sorry, start over. Next on our list are leopard geckos. Leopard... But if you can spend several... Is that 25? That was 25. No way! <laughs>